Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 8th April 2019. I am recording this session before market open. It is around 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company, or its trading systems and products, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling of stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we we'll look at oil and gold using technical analysis. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to take them in the direction of the market. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry strength as well. We'll study that using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent trade ideas shared in our Traders Forum. If I don't do that, you may visit the Traders Forum from our website. It is open to the public. It provides excellent examples of disciplined analysis of trades at the right edge of the chart. And we'll try to look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop template and daily hop on template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, after displaying the bullish headwind reversal signal, oil is steadily going up. It is maintaining cyan, bullish backdrop color for many weeks. The backdrop candle color being cyan may help you remain in the long trade in US oil for extended period of time. In the weekly chart, oil is now overbought. It may be too late to enter a long trade unless you have already taken the position before. In the daily chart, oil is going up. Price is supported by multiple memory support lines. Friday's candle is bullish, both in shape and in color. It is above the upper boundary line. It is too overbought. That is also shown by the stretch overboard band indicator. If you are holding a long position in oil, you may continue to hold that. There is no sign of weakness in oil right now. Gold ETM GLD In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color is magenta. The shape is mixed. The solid body is bearish, however, the long lower tail is bullish. Therefore, the overall shape in the weekly chart is mixed. In the daily chart, price is moving in an indecisive manner. It is inside a triangle pattern formed by support and resistant memory trend lines. You may wait for the direction to be clearer before taking any swing trade in gold. 
on Thursday gold opened with a gap down it opened just below the memory trend line support and went up from there looking at the pre-existing memory support line and the gap down open and subsequent move up from there you could take a very profitable gap day trade in gold on Thursday this is gold using 10 minute Q intraday fine tune chart you may use this template for day trading purpose and also for precision entry of swing trading on Thursday gold open at the blue pivot line soon after that the early range high and early range low pivot levels were formed I have drawn a horizontal line at the price point where the daily chart had the memory support line on this candle gold went up strongly and closed above the daily memory support line and it gave a gap long day trade setup at the same time you could take a long position at the close of this candle putting stop just below day slow which was below the early range low level when price hit the next pivot line that is previous days low the red color pivot line the profit was more than the risk taken in the trade and you could book at least partial profit you could hold on to partial position as gold went up from there the remaining position would give higher profit by the end of the day this was a textbook example of a gap long day trade taken in gold on Thursday which was also supported by the support memory trend line in the daily chart from commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are studying market breadth using Nasdaq composite index and NYSE composite index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume because this study is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval you may use it for long term investment decisions and also for swing trading but not for day trading NASDAQ is continuing to be stronger than NYSE both NASDAQ and NYSE ended the week with bullish shape and bullish color candles NASDAQ doesn't have any resistance memory trend line nearby NYSE closed right at the memory resistance trend line you may keep an eye on NYSE to see if it bounces down from the memory resistance next week the internals this week are bullish all the internals closed above zero and four of them went up as well let's look at the market ETFs we start with S&P 500 ETF SPY the weekly candle is bullish both in shape and color this week price opened with a gap up and continued to go up whole week in the daily chart price is very close to the upper boundary level it is overbought both in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart it is bullish however overbought therefore you may not take any long position right now Nasdaq ETF QQQ very similar to SPY weekly shape and color both are bullish weekly is overbought daily is near the upper boundary level and it is overbought as well Dow Jones Industrial ETF DIA it is relatively weaker we can see that from the relative performance line 
languishing. However, this also opened with a gap up on Monday and continued to go up, broke above the memory resistance in the weekly chart. It is overbought in the weekly chart. In the daily, price is close to the upper boundary level. It could break above the watermark resistance. It is overbought in the daily chart as well. Bullish but overbought. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This was the weakest one week ago. However, this week it outperformed. We can see that from the relative performance in the weekly chart tilting upward. Weekly had a memory resistance line. This week price could break above that. In the daily also there was a memory resistance. On Friday price could break above that. It is overbought in the daily chart. Therefore we would not take any long position right now. However this is also bullish now not bearish anymore. One month sector performance. We are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. Red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar represents performance of the prior week. And blue bar represents performance of two weeks before that. Together they represent about one month of performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week nine of the 11 sectors went up showing a bullish picture of the market. Only two sectors went down. These are utilities and consumer staples. Both are defensive sectors. Another view at the sectors using Q edge, real time, sector scorecard, and heat map. Here, all the sectors are analyzed over 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc., to calculate a scorecard and heat map. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. Other than the score over these review periods, QH also calculates acceleration and deceleration that is shown in the paste column. Cyan color represents acceleration and magenta represents deceleration. What can you gather from this sector scorecard and heat map? Looking at the 5 day scores, you can instantly gather that materials, financials and energy. These are the strongest sectors. You may look for buying opportunities here. Healthcare, utilities and consumer staples are the weakest sectors. You may be cautious if you are holding long positions and look for shorting opportunities. If you combine the strength with the acceleration, you will find that financials and energy. These are currently strong and they are also two of the most accelerating sectors. You may look for buying opportunities here. A few days ago, I shared a buying opportunity in an energy stock, DNR. You may look up that trading idea from our traders forum or from our Twitter social network page. That trade is doing pretty well. What are the most decelerating sectors now? They are industrials and consumer discretionary. Their five day scores are not magenta yet. However, they are decelerating and therefore you may be cautious if you are holding long positions in them. And you may also look for shorting opportunities. Those are the decisions you can make from the sector level analysis. 
However, like the market level, sector level is also quite broad. To make more accurate trading decisions, you may drill down into the industry level and look for buy setups in the strong industries or accelerating industries and look for short setups in weak industries or decelerating industries. Best performing industries. These are 10 of the best performers this week. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days score. In Q360 degrees technique, we like to take long trades in stocks that are fundamentally strong and that are also in strong industries. Going by that logic, we are going to look for only buy setups in these stocks and avoid shorting. We saw that energy sector is strong and it is also accelerating. Oil and gas drilling is in energy sector. This industry is one of the best performers. You may drill down into oil and gas drilling industry. Look for fundamentally strong stocks that are giving long setups following Q unambiguous checklists. If you drill down into oil and gas drilling industry using QH, you find several stocks that are having optimal valuation. These stocks are shown by cyan color under valuation column. HP is one of them. HP also has accelerating earnings growth in the last two quarters. Earnings growth is rapidly increasing over three successive quarters. Therefore, you have a strong industry in a strong sector and a fundamentally strong stock in that industry, both in terms of valuation as well as in terms of earnings growth. You would look for a buy setup on Q charts and this stock HP gave a buy setup last week. HP using at a glance template. In the weekly chart, the candle color was bullish cyan for several weeks. In the daily chart, price was going up with higher highs and higher lows. Price was also supported by the memory trend line support. On Thursday, it gave a cyan color candle that is the bullish flow color candle in the daily chart that met all the requirements of the Q go with flow trend following long trade setup. You could enter the trade at the close of Thursday putting stop just below recent low. In this case you could put your stop below the memory support line. Initial profit target is at upper boundary. On Friday, price came very close to that but didn't touch it yet. This week, if price continues to go up, it is going to hit the initial profit target. Q traders would book at least partial profit with discipline and hold on to partial position in this case because here we have a technically strong stock, fundamentally strong stock and the industry is also strong. Under such circumstances, Q guideline is to hold on to partial position with trailing stop trying to let profit run. Worst performing industries, 10 of the worst performers this week. You will look for shorting opportunities here and avoid taking long positions. We saw utilities is one of the only two declining sectors. You may be extra careful about long holdings in utilities. Water utilities, one of the utilities industries, became one of the 10 worst performers this week. You would look for shorting opportunities here in overvalued stocks. 
Wash performing industries of the week are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. Water utilities is not only weak in the current week. Looking to the right, you can see that it is weakening gradually and consistently. Looking at that, you would be careful about any long holdings in this industry. If you drill down into the industry, you find AWR, this stock is overvalued. That is shown by valuation score in magenta color. And it also has reducing earnings growth. Earnings growth is negative in the last quarter and it is going down from the previous quarter. Therefore, you have a stock here that is fundamentally weak both in terms of valuation as well as earnings growth and it is in a weak industry. In fact, I shared a short trade idea on AWR several weeks ago in our traders forum. This is the post in our traders forum. I shared it 25 days ago on March 14. At that time, I attached the snapshots based on Q360 degrees analysis. The water utilities industry was decelerating. The pace column was in magenta color and from the strength columns you can see that the score color was changing, transitioning from cyan to magenta. Fundamentally the stock was weak at that time also. The valuation was in magenta color overvalued, earnings growth was negative and reducing from the previous quarter. This is how the technical chart looked like when I shared the trade idea. In the weekly chart, we had a neutral color candle. In the daily chart, it displayed bearish headwind. The candle color, traffic light candle color was red bearish. Price fell down a little bit, tried to go up, hit the memory resistance line and the stock was starting to go down again. It looked bearish enough for me to suggest a possible short setup. You could take a shot at the close of that candle. If you did that, you would like to book profit at the ascending yellow direction line. Let's see how the stock ended up this week. This is AWR as of today. I shared the trade idea in our traders forum. In this week, the weekly candle color was neutral and on the daily chart, price was on this candle. After that, price moved sideways for a while and this week it fell down, hit the initial profit target of the ascending yellow direction line. On Thursday, price tried to go below the yellow direction line but recovered and closed right at the yellow direction line. Looking at that, you could book profit in the trade. This is another live example of a trade where you could anticipate a stock decline looking at industry's deceleration. Then you could drill down to find fundamentally weak stocks that are also giving technical short trade setup, low risk short entry. And you could take a profitable trade following that 360 degrees technique. Accelerating industries. These are 10 most accelerating industries of the week. They might be behind others but are gaining momentum fast and you would look for buying opportunities. Oil and gas refining and marketing is one of the most accelerating industries. Let's drill down into the underlying stocks. 
accelerating industries are shown in Q edge by cyan color under page 5 days column oil and gas refining and marketing is one of the accelerating industries its 5 day score is not cyan yet but the gaining of strength is shown by acceleration that is the cyan color under page column let's drill down into the stocks when we drill down into the industry we find PBF it is optimally valued we know that from the cyan color under valuation column and it has accelerating earnings growth positive and accelerating earnings growth in the latest quarter you would look for a buy setup in this stock in fact I shared a long trade idea in PBF when it was at the very bottom that was a reversal headwind trade setup I had shared it in our traders forum let's have a look at that forum post this is the trade idea I shared on PBF I shared it one month ago on 11th March I carried out a 360 degrees analysis at that time in the weekly chart price created a false downside breakout and in the daily chart it displayed a bullish headwind at the watermark support line creating a false downside breakout in the daily chart as well I also shared the fundamental and industry status at that time it was optimally valued the valuation was in cyan color and earnings growth was positive and accelerating the snapshot of the Q edge industry scorecard and heat map taken at that time shows that right on that day the industry score turned from magenta to cyan with heavy acceleration using the acceleration over one day period fundamental strength of the stock and the very unique headwind reversal signal you could take a long position in PBF at the very bottom how did PBF work out let's have a look at the chart as of today this is PBF as of today I identified the long trade idea right at the very bottom when this bullish headwind signal appeared you could take a long position at the close of that day putting stop just below recent low this was a reversal trade setup from there price went up hit the declining yellow direction line by that time you had covered much more than the risk distance following Q guideline you would book profit in the trade at least partial profit if you held partial position the remaining position would be stopped out using trailing stop now how is the stock looking in the weekly chart we have a bullish shape and bullish color candle weekly is bullish in the daily chart after a pullback it went up on Thursday and Friday Friday gave us a bullish shape and bullish color candle in the daily chart there is a memory resistance line just above Friday's close if price can go above that this week then you may look for a buying opportunity again in PBF lastly we look at the decelerating industries this may still be strong but they are declining and you may be careful if you are holding a long position you may look for short opportunities as well we saw consumer discretionary sector is decelerating and you have apparel retail in that sector that is also decelerating you will be careful about long position in this industry and look for shorting opportunities 
Decelerating industries are shown in QH by magenta color under paste column. Apparel retail is one of the most decelerating industries. Let's drill down. There are several stocks, many of them are optimally valued. However, though they are optimally valued, their earnings growth is decelerating for some of them at least. ANF is one of them. It has optimal valuation shown by cyan color in the valuation column. However, earnings growth in the latest quarter is negative and reducing from the previous quarter. We say a stock is weak either in terms of valuation or in terms of earnings growth. Sometimes we may find a stock that is weak both in terms of valuation as well as earnings growth. But we don't have to look for weakness in both of those parameters. Weakness in any of the parameters allows us to look for a short setup on the technical charts. ANF using Q weekly daily at a glance template. One week ago, this stock had a very bullish shape and bullish color candle. Looking at that, non-Q traders, other system traders might be looking for a buy setup. However, we knew that there was a memory resistance at that price point. Looking at that, we would avoid taking any new long position. That would be a good decision because this week price fell down from the memory resistance. In the daily chart, price came to the watermark resistance level, tried to go up but reversed creating a false upside breakout. It also displayed a bearish headwind possible reversal signal at that time. From there price dropped a little bit. We would not be taking any short trade based on the headwind reversal signal because a memory support trend line was close to the price. On Friday, price could fall below the memory support line and the candle color turned bearish. The shape is also bearish. This stock is in a decelerating industry. Earnings growth is decelerating. And the daily and weekly charts are showing signs of weakness. If you are holding a long position, you may be cautious. And if the market and or the industry continues to go down, you may look for a low risk shorting opportunity in this stock. Those were the regular topics. Let me summarize. Market is clearly bullish. Market indices as well as market ETFs are bullish. Sectors are also bullish. Is there any reason for caution? There may be some reason for caution because all the market ETFs, SPY, QQQ, DIA and IWM, all of them are overbought. It is not safe to take long position when any instrument is overbought. Another reason for caution may be that the NYSE broad index at memory resistance line in the weekly chart. However, those are cautionary signals. Those does not mean that the market is weak. Market is clearly strong. In a strong market, it is easier to profit from taking long trades. That is the conclusion from the market level. Looking for long trades, you may apply the Q360 degrees technique that is take those long trades only in industries that are strong or accelerating and further in stocks that are fundamentally strong and are giving low risk buy points. Whatever be the market condition, you are always able to find such high probability and low risk trades using Q360 degrees analysis. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.